Hello, and welcome to this video explaining the basics of Spatial Chat, the platform we will use for discussions following the online scientific sessions, as well as for exhibition, networking, and social events. Spatial Chat will be available to conference registrants from the 28th of June. From that date, you will see the link to Spatial Chat in the navigation bar. If you do not see that link, please check that you are fully registered for the conference. Once you arrive in Spatial Chat, you just enter your name, and we recommend that you add your affiliation in the About field. You can also upload a profile picture here, which will show if your camera is turned off. Then you click on Continue and decide whether to join with your camera and microphone on or off, as you prefer. You will anyway be able to switch them back on or off once you're on the platform. And once you're ready, just click on Join Space. So in Spatial Chat, you will arrive in the welcome room. Just zoom out of the room to see the whole space. Everyone appears in a little bubble. My camera is on, so I can see the video. Now you can move that little bubble to a different area of the room or to go over to different people. And you can view images a little closer by zooming in, for example, if I want to read the spatial chat etiquette, I just zoom in on it. I can also check the spatial chat basics explained here. Here I notice there is a video, and as I get closer to the video with my bubble, the sound gets louder, and as I move away, the sound gets fainter. If I want to stay in that spot and watch the video a little better, but Without the sound, I can also mute it, just like this. On the right panel, I can see a list of all the rooms in Spatial Chat and whether anyone is in that room. For example, I can see there are two people in the EGNTS lounge. And if I click on the arrow, I can see these are Alice and Martin. Let's go over there. Now, when I arrive in a room, I see the bubbles of the other people with just their initial. But as I get closer to them, their camera will turn on. Let's see. That's, yeah, that's interesting. Hi, Marta. Hi, Alice. Hi, Hi Mario. Hey, how's it going? Good, and you? Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to go continue visiting. Just keep talking. OK. OK. Bye. Bye. Now, as our conversation is over, I can just move away from them and their bubbles, as you notice, get smaller again and I don't see the camera anymore. On the right hand side, in addition to the list of rooms, you will notice there is a chat area. And if I enter anything there, it will be visible to everyone in the room. I can also hide that chat or that list of rooms by clicking on the cross and that makes the space wider. Now, let's go visit a different room. Let's see a theme room, for example. Hey, I can see there are people in theme 3. This room will be used for all the discussions about sessions in theme 3. And I can actually see the schedule here by zooming in on it. So, for example, on Monday morning, after session 3H01 has ended on Zoom, if participants want to continue discussing, they should go to Spatial Chat Room Theme 3. When I arrive here, I can't hear what the group is saying, as I'm too far away. So I need to get closer, like this. More deficit in 142 But another trick is to use the megaphone. So, I'm going to ask the presenter to turn the megaphone on. Uh, for the sediment. Hey, Maud, would you yeah. mind turning your megaphone on? Yeah, of course. Thank you. And we can also see that a uh, small difference. So now, even uh, if I'm on the I've other side of the room, I can see it here. Material. So, here it's a uh, paper. Let's go somewhere. By Igor Kuchel. So, this is, for example, another theme room. And 
If there are too many of you in a room having a group discussion, we recommend that you all turn your megaphone on to make sure everyone can hear one another. But if you want to split into small groups within the same room to discuss different things, just move your bubbles to different areas of the room. That way, you won't hear the conversation of the other group. Obviously, in such case, don't use the megaphone to avoid disturbing one another. Now, you'll notice that in some rooms, you're able to share an image, a video, a text, or even share your screen. Just follow the steps after clicking on these icons. And you can also send emojis with this icon here. The last thing I want to point out is that just as you would in an in-person conference, you might want to look for people that you know and catch up with them. So, the way to do that is to click on the magnifying glass and type in the name of the person you're looking for. I'm looking for Alice, for example, and I can see she's in the coffee lounge. And the great thing is that if I click on her name, it will instantly teleport me to her. Hi, Alice. Hi. Hey, hey. I can see you're enjoying a coffee in the beautiful coffee lounge. It's fantastic here, isn't it? Nice and a beautiful picture of Leon in the background. Exactly. Wow. We love Leon. That's great. Thank you, Alice. Bye. You. Bye. 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 So that's it for spatial chat. But if you need any help or wish to practice with the different tools, you can just go over to the help desk right here. And when you're ready to leave the space, just click on the red button. Again, Spatial Chat will be open to registrants from the 28th of June, and we really encourage you to explore all the cool spaces we have set up and try things out as soon as it's open. And it's even better if you try it as a group. Don't forget, we'll have lots of fun events on Spatial Chat during the conference networking and social hours every day, so we hope to see many of you there. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, we're here to help.